And begin. CNN political commentator Tara Setmeyer is in Cleveland for tonight's debate and joining us now, along with Sirius XM talk show host, back with us, comedian Pete Dominic. Thank you guys both for joining us. Pete, we just heard Anderson Cooper, who interviewed Trump, say a big reason why he's at the top of the polls is because he has no filter. And there's something to say about that, right? Uh, will Trump rise to the occasion, Pete, you think, or is he going to sink his own vote tonight? I don't know. Uh, who knows what happens tonight? I think everybody's talking too much about Trump and should be looking at at Jeb Bush, because Trump will fizzle out. It is inevitable, uh, but Jeb Bush is, has everything to lose. He's, you know, was the front runner. But the reason why we, uh, who are critics of the Republican candidates, call the clown car seriously is because there's a real disconnect from reality. I don't take these guys seriously. I just don't, because every single person on that stage tonight doesn't even believe in the biggest problem facing the planet, climate change, especially Trump. He doesn't believe in vaccines. He doesn't believe the president was born here. He doesn't believe in climate change. He's the definition of a conspiracy theorist, and he's a modern-day racist. And I'm going to argue that's why a lot of people like him, because he says really ignorant, bigoted things about whole groups of people. That's a really bold statement, Tara, but that's not the first time that I've heard uh, what Pete is saying. I mean, do you think a lot of people so far, they are saying uh, they're not taking the GOP necessarily, uh, uh, they're not taking them seriously. I think Trump has something to do with that. Is he bringing the bar down? Well, uh, I mean, first of all, I agree with, I mean, I disagree with just about everything that Pete just said in his characterization of what the biggest problem facing the planet today is climate change. Are, are you kidding me? No, the biggest problem facing the world today is, is terrorism, but that's a whole different story. Um, you know, the, what's going on here, unfortunately, because of the cult of personality with Trump, it has created somewhat of a celebrity-style circus and reality show around everything that's going on, and it's taking away from the very serious candidates that are on this stage. Every single one of them has earned their right to be on that stage, has substantive policy initiatives to bring to the table, and that oxygen's been sucked out of the room for them to be able to, say, to talk about these things and have the media cover them, because it's more fun to cover Donald Trump, let's be honest. Um, um, he is right, though, about one thing. I do think that Trump will eventually fizzle out. How soon that's going to be, I'm not sure. I was wrong about how soon it would be a couple of weeks ago. So I think he may have some staying power until people actually have to start pulling the lever. But do I think he has any chance of being the nominee? Absolutely not. I mean, Marco Rubio, Jeb Bush, uh, Scott Walker, uh, John Kasich. I mean, these are guys that, are, that have substantive records and things to say that I'm hoping at some point people will start paying attention to because we do need to winnow it down. We do have a presidential election going on here. It's instead of a political speed dating kind of a situation that we've got going on, I hope we get some substance. P, I see you shaking your head. Go ahead. Well, I, I mean, just to be clear, I, I agree that there's some other serious candidates and other issues, but all the names that Tara just mentioned, they don't believe in climate change. That you don't get to not believe in science. They literally, that's a conspiracy theory. They are conspiracy theorists on that issue. We can disagree how important it is. We can't disagree that it is happening, and they don't believe it. Tara, you think that's ridiculous? Oh, please, Pete. I think it's ridiculous. Pete, I've news for you climate change happened way before there was the industrial revolution before there were cars before there were people in urban centers climate change has been happening for billions of years okay what's hap what's most important what people need to talk about are things that are well, you don't deserve the economy. anybody who's on, on. Anybody let Tara, that. Pete, let Tara so, finish then I'll let you go things that health care those are things that those are things that people care about how we're gonna how the United States is gonna respond to Islamic terrorism and the threat that that poses here at home those are the issues climate change and which is the science is up for dispute, whether it's man-made or not. It is not settled science, and it, that, that is still up for dispute. But to sit here and, sit and say that because a, a, a candidate may have a question about whether man-made climate change is real or not disqualifies them and they're not a serious candidate, I think it's ridiculous. Climate change? Climate change. You really, I think it's actually arrogant of us as people to think that, that, that human beings have the ability to affect the climate Pete, so, so much that it, re that it requires so, a na I won't, international I won't response. Pete, go ahead. Pete, go ahead. It's go ahead. You're I love, on the wrong I'll thing. only say this. I love coming on your guys' show. I love HLN. Don't invite me on the show to be opposite another conspiracy theorist. If this is real. There's no dispute. And I will not argue or debate that but, with anybody but, on television. But Pete, do you, you. But, oh, but Pete, do you also agree with the fact that terrorism is also a big issue that we, that we need to hear from from these candidates? I mean, uh, that is also a, a part of the issue which we need to address. No, I'm going to take up 
all of my time to say that no one who says what Tara just said should be invited on television. I Obviously, terrorism is an issue, but if you think terrorism is a more important issue or a scarier thing than heart disease, you've been duped. More important than climate change, you've been duped. I, I, I'm just beside myself that anybody would, at this point in 2015, be invited to come on television and say the things that she just said. I wanted to have fun. I'm irate at that. I can't. I won't invite people on my radio show that are conspiracy theorists, and I won't debate them either. Tara, final word. Well, I'm not a, I'm not a conspiracy theorist by any sense of the word. This is the kind of lunacy on the left that you've got to be kidding me. You, you're left. sitting here and arguing that climate change is the most important issue facing the world, the United States today. I mean, this is this is in a, this is a, I, I mean uh, unbelievable. But if you, you, know, you actually want to run, you want Tara, to run, I, I appreciate both that of, debate. Let's do it. I appreciate both of your opinions on this matter, and thank you guys both for joining us. Listen, if the debate is going to be as charged as that segment just was, you're going to want to watch it. Don't forget to watch Dr. Drew tonight at 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. Eastern for more. On the debate. Wow, that got pretty testy. Yeah, it certainly did. Listen. Pete took his comedian gloves yeah. off, that's for sure. All right, hashtag breastfeeding.